guys, Jason here from cricketstoreonline.com today and very, very excited to bring you the very first 2016 Kookaburra Cricket Bat Review. Uh, this particular bat that I'm holding here is a, a real step of evolution forward um, for Kookaburra. Um, and what I mean by that, that this is a real step away from their traditional style of bat and into what other bat companies have been doing for quite a while, but the big brands are now jumping onto the bandwagon. Um, way back, um, way back when, a few brands started doing this T20 style cricket bat, right as uh, T20 cricket started coming out. And what I mean by that is, I'll take this bat over here, and I'll put the two toes together, and what you see is you see the blade is shorter. Now the overall bat length is exactly the same, okay? But the blade is actually shorter. So what they're doing, um, I'm sure you've seen the reviews before. What they're doing is they're taking wood away from here, which is actually helping with the handle flexibility, which is going to give you a little bit of extra bat speed, a little bit of extra ping. So you're getting a bit more flexibility in the handle, but then you're also taking away a bunch of wood that you really don't ever use and you're allowing them to put it in the sweet spot. Now, something unique that Kookaburra is doing is that they're actually using that not to put the weight here, but they're using it to take the weight off. So you can get these new 2016 Kookaburra T20 um, light bats in weights from 25, 26, and 27. In fact, this one is 27. It's got a 37 millimeter spine and a six, sorry, a 37 millimeter edge and a 60 millimeter spine. So that gives you a good indication of how light these bats are and they still carry a really decent size. Let me bounce the bat a ball on here for you. The best part about it, these bats you're looking at about 150 bucks. So it's a lower grade English Willow, but essentially this is a, it's a T20 bat, it pings really nicely. Um, and, and overall, I'm actually quite impressed. One more thing you're gonna know about 2016 Krieger Bats is the Kookaburra logo is right in the middle of the bat blade. This is the first time they've ever done uh, the blade, the Kookaburra in the middle. The benefit for you is if you're buying from other stores and it's not a 2016 bat, if it's a 2015 bat uh, or before, the Kookaburra is actually going to be offset to the side. What that means for you, you should be getting those bats cheaper now than if they were uh, the 2016 bat. So if you're getting an older bat with a Kookaburra to the side, make sure you're getting a nice discount. What bat is this similar to? This is a bat I've actually been testing out myself. This is the GM Mana. Um, you'll see they're both T20 style short blades. I guess this, uh, you can see they're about the same length. And so I've done the reviews. Check out the other reviews for the GM Mana. Um, but overall, you get a little bit of scalloping on that uh, Kookaburra. You get the Kookaburra toe guard, uh, the higher models. Uh, the Pro and the 1250, for example, actually come with a pretty nice padded bat cover. Um, and uh, it's overall, it's a pretty nice bat. Medium, medium to low sweet spot and a nice uh, Sarawak cane handle. Balance wise, it's great. Obviously, because the bat, any bat that's 2.6 is going to have a super light pickup. So thanks for watching this little video. I'm going to try and knock out all these Kookaburra bat reviews today so I can get them out to you maybe tonight or tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to do the rest of them. I've got the Onyx and the um, Ignite, um, the Ghost as well. So a couple of really cool bats to review for this year. So head to www.cricketstrawonline.com now if you're looking for a 252627 Kookaburra Kahuna Light T20 bat. This would obviously also re work really well for tape ball and for uh, tennis ball cricket, stuff like that. Um, it is a nice light bat. So thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.